The bench is very strong. O'Reilly, Larkete Stones and Tossi cover the front row. Sangster and Kadifi will cover the rest of the forwards. So a local product, Rowan Wingham, a prop, and at last, Josh Timu is set for a return. Yeah, Side additions, up. as always. Crowd of just over 12,000 and perfect. And what a match awaits an all New Zealand clash second of the weekend the Highlanders and the Hurricanes it's the Highlanders away to the left in the first half slips away from the tackle of Tava Tava Nawai almost to the line Yossi he can't make it ball there for the Hurricanes they go to the left try to step his way through Proctor he's caught just millimeters short numbers away to the right and over the top and celebrating Manage. and getting an advantage here too not rolling away in the tackle Roy Gard Luckeye now lovely ball on the inside gets the return pass and Peter Luckeye scores great combination with Caleb Delaney and the Hurricanes are in for their second and turn that around and to make their attack look really good. They really are on another level, the Hurricanes. The interplay between the forwards here, great pass inside, and then back to Peter Lakite. Big bang from the Hurricanes. Cam Roygaard continues to take defenders out, which are opening, opening spaces on the inside for the Hurricanes. Amor, Yossi. Islanders contested it, but Yossi brings it down. Amor. Got it in the boot. Being urged forward by Roygaard. Now Roygaard sensing he might have to get rid of it, although they continue to take it forward. They're almost to the line. They're over the line. It's a try. And it's on more. Line out time, but this time Max gets up and disrupts it. And a lot of the times this does disrupt the rest of them all, but they regather, they cut out the spaces between them, and then they start building the pressure. You can see a couple of high Highlanders. You can't defend malls like that. Even reaching over the top is not going to help you. They keep marching it forward to the line. Somewhere in there, Asafa Amua, he's got the ball in his hands, and there he goes, helped over by Tyrell Lomax. Outstanding patience from the Hurricanes. It would have been easy to go early, but Amua kept his body low. He kept driving. Well, they're just having to tackle wave after wave, the Highlanders. There's Numia. He's already got one. Roy Gard has a go, almost there, is there? Cam Roy Gard gets another one. Really ahead on the ladder, but you'd say after this first half and then the second half that will follow, they'll be ahead. Now we have heard the double whistle. This is originally an outstanding break from We Would Love, but we will have to stop this and listen in to Damon Murphy because it looks like they've found a problem. No, I think the ball's gone missing for the conversion so he's just stopping the clock I think just to see who kicked the ball away Henry Bell delivers it Patchell now intercept Josh Morby Ratu Maigabuki Neekins coming across but he won't get a hand on him Josh Morby fourth try of the season would have asked for it half time but this pass here just gets picked off by Josh Morby he's been outstanding for the last couple of years, to be fair, what a start for the Hurricanes. Yeah, Reese Patchell's just throwing that pass. Just watch here. Once he lets it go, he hasn't seen the player out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> and with the angle that Lowe was running away from the ball, it just created the seam for this man, Morby. And he is a very, very good rugby player. He's balanced. He's accurate. The early tongue out in celebration. Broughton again. Good determination from him. Now De Groot has a go. Right out in front of the post. Change of angle from Ma'u. Now Fakatama having a go and he's over. Before this game missed one tackle. Well, they've got it from the scrum. Under advantage, TJ Perinata goes in for his 60th try. In Super Rugby. Closing in on a record. Held by his former teammate for the Hurricanes. Now he's after his try scoring record. Tight hit from the Hurricanes again. I didn't get to touch on it, but Podi Dakite Stones, he's been around for a long time. 
And that is excellent work at scrum time to set up that record try score for TJ Pedernada. Just outstanding pressure up front. And they demonstrated on the previous scrum. Move. Taken Move. quickly by Billy Harmon. Desperate to get a second try on the board for his team. Oh, charging onto it is Max Hicks. Rocky Mota Vuki Nikens is over on his back. It's possibly got that down there at the end. I don't know. It doesn't look like they're going to check it. I think they should. So they'll go upstairs for a look. Oh, I'm just going to come up to you, mate, please. Final check. Mate. Behind. Just watch here. So this is the best angle, Damon. Yeah. So it's up, it's up, it's up. Top of the ball, up. and then... It's Hicks charging in, isn't it? To try and help him get the ball on the ground. Yeah, and, and you can hear some of the crowd cheering. But I think what you'll find is it comes out of his hands. Correct. Yes. Okay, sweet. Thanks, mate. Just want to confirm that. So back on me, mate. Because boys, your hands are always on the wall. It's tight. I don't know about that. It looked like Cody Dark with his stones. Okay, so cool, that's, that's the clear yep. knob on. Come back to me. Come yeah. back to me, mate. AJ so no Faliafunga's try Knock is on. going to be ruled out. Oh, it's been taken quickly. Intercept! Justin Sangstar scores! They do get the final say! They tuned up into town as the best team. They will leave as the best team and throughout the whole game to match their effort of 2015. The conversion from Geordie Barrett sails between the uprights. The flags go up. Outstanding performance by the Hurricanes. They stretch their lead at the top of the table. 47-12. A route in Dunedin.